Oh yes, making some risotto with beetroot. I'm trying it with black rice, so we're gonna see what happens. And I'm trying this new vegan mozzarella type thing, so it looks a bit funny, doesn't it? But it kind of has a similar consistency. It looks more like sausage than anything else, but whatever, it's a vegan a magical toilet. So this is really exciting because you can like do all these things. So you don't need to use toilet paper. I don't want it to like splash everywhere. Oh, it needs me to sit on it. Oh, there we go, pressure. <laughs> yeah, this is a great invention. Uh, it definitely saves toilet paper. However, I'd be curious to know how much the production costs of this is. So are these toilets environmentally friendly? I'd probably choose a bidet, but who knows. Australian permanent residency, which I'm really excited about. So this, uh, to get my Australian permanent residency, it took me years. So I studied in Australia for five years on the student visa. And then I had the option of going to a graduate visa or another option. Uh, and I had to leave the country and then apply for the stream point tested visa. If any of you guys are considering going to Australia and are unsure about visas, uh, you know, feel free to ask me questions because I feel like I'm a pro now. But yeah, I had to take an English test to prove that I can speak and write English well. And then I, yeah, I got my visa like last week. But since I'm going to the Comoros for the next nine months or so, I actually have to enter Australia to not lose my visa spot. So I managed to reorganize um, the start of my work in the Comoros. So today... I'm flying to Australia for two weeks. I get to hang out with my friends, catch up, ensure my visa's all good. I'm flying with um, all three of my passports because I just got one renewed. <laughs> but that's the one that my visa actually got granted on. But it now has like, it has a hole in it now. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to be flying with with those guys and hopefully they shall let me in but yeah I'm really excited I'm just taking this little backpack um, nothing else just because uh, in Australia I have all my stuff in storage so I actually want to bring some more back to Europe uh, so I don't have to worry about it but yeah very exciting just gonna try and do some work on the plane or sleep I haven't decided yet we'll see how I feel uh, do any of you guys suffer from plane anxiety? I'm trying not to think about it. I'm trying to stay chill and zen and, you know, use various uh, relaxation techniques to um, get rid of the anxiety. But I really struggle. I'm counting that this is going to be a much bigger plane, so I'll be alright. <sighs> haven't flown, I haven't flown to Australia and back like this for, for a year. For a little bit over a year. So it's going to be interesting. Today I just printed some more of the t-shirts which you saw me printing. They're drying. I actually messed one up. No. Uh, and I'm really upset about that. But it's all good. Yeah, thank you so much to all the people who already bought t-shirts. We have so far raised $20 for the plastic refund, which is 
awesome. Every little helps and every little can improve education, uh, clean up days, clean up scuba dives to try and get rid of the plastic in the ocean. So yeah, if you guys want to get onto that, I also set up a Patreon which you can donate monthly from $1 to however much you want to try and help uh, kind of clean uh, the oceans because it's kind of rough, it's kind of upsetting. But yeah, so I'm going to take you guys along with me on this trip to Australia, and I'll get you, I'll get to introduce you to my favorite foods in Brisbane, where I lived for five years, uh, even for a year as a vegan, so I'm quite familiar with the places there. And just go on a few adventures, go scuba diving. I'm very excited. Uh, but yeah, so I'll talk to you later. <laughs> So I finally arrived back in Australia. Of course, one of the first things I had to do was take my shoes off, look at my terrible tan, and go to the beach. I decided to spend this time to do some reflections, to do a little bit of meditating, and to just enjoy the view of the ocean and feel small again. While sitting on the beach with my toes in the sand, I was thinking about the plastic problem and how recently someone had told me, there is no point of cleaning beaches. And no matter what we do, the giant tap of plastic going into the ocean every single day is going to keep streaming in no matter what we do about it. Currently, there is a ton of plastic, a whole truckload of plastic being dumped into our ocean every single minute. Plastic is just a recent issue and it began in the 1930s and since then we can not imagine a world without plastic. Plastic is non-biodegradable and every single piece that has ever been created is still somewhere on our planet. It's on our beaches, in our oceans, 50% of certain turtle species have been found to have plastic in their digestion system. And that's why I have created the Plastic Free Fund and my Plastic is the Killer t-shirts to try and raise the awareness of this. With the Plastic Free Fund, I hope to raise money to be able to better clean up beaches, create education, create materials, and anything else that people all over the world might need to clean up the beaches. This particular day I forgot a bag so I decided to tie up my towel and make a bag out of that and to just spend the 10 minutes before I had to go back to the city cleaning up the beach. I decided to show you guys that just in the 100 meters that I walked from the camera Every single time I bend down, that's another piece of plastic. It's a microplastic, it's a cap, it's a lens, it's bits of a cup or a bottle or a plate. And we basically don't know what any of this stuff is, is because it's been broken down by the sun and by the salt in our oceans to make it unrecognizable. And in that case, it becomes more integrated into the food chain. Algae starts growing on these pieces of microplastics, which then are consumed by fish, and then bigger fish, and then bigger fish, and now there's been studies which show that every single piece of fish food you eat has plastic in it. Now, I don't know about you guys, I don't want to be eating plastic. I don't think animals should be eating plastic, so please help me um, join the cause join the Plastic Free Fund, get yourself a t-shirt, get yourself a 10% discount by using the code Plastic Free, and yeah, help clean up some beaches. I'm going to be posting updates uh, all the time about the various projects I'm working on. Please feel free to become a patron on patreon.com slash Plastic Free Fund, from which I'm going to be using the money to help um, clean up the beaches and oceans in the Comoros when I'm there. Thank you guys so much for watching. You are amazing and together we can make a difference. We have to be optimistic because our earth depends on us. Thank you so much.